Hey Magnolias! So today we're gonna do some really cool bubble painting for our art sensory activity. But first we need to make some tools for bubble painting because you probably don't wanna use your regular bubble wands because they're gonna get some paint or food coloring on them. So what we're going to do is you're gonna need some straws, some regular straws, scissors, and just some regular masking tape. And we have these um, paper straws at Mooney and Poppy's house. And we are going to take probably three or four of them. You can do as many or as little as you want. And what we're gonna do is, you know how to use the tape in our classroom, how you peel it out just a little bit, but not too much, because you don't wanna waste any. And then we're going to use the scissors to cut a small piece. You only need enough to just go all the way around. And you're gonna put it on very carefully and carefully all the way around. You're gonna smooth it all the way around. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So cut my piece of tape, pick it up, my pincher fingers, I'm going to smush it down and carefully twist it all the way around. And now I have a special bubble painting wand and we will see how it works. I also thought it might be fun to try out some of these bendy straws that we have, but I wasn't sure it would work super well to have the little bendy part. I was worried that the bubbles won't go through it. So I was thinking maybe we could carefully away from our fingers, cut the bendy part off, and then we could have a long one. And then maybe you might wanna cut the bendy part off of another one and cut it in half. And then we would have two short pieces. Oops, dropped them. Then we would have two short pieces and we could do an experiment to see if the short ones or the long ones maybe worked better or worse than the other ones. We'll see. So I have my tools and now I'm ready to bubble paint. So I will see you back for that activity in just a little while. Bye Magnolias.